Hey, what's up traders? Day 5600 here with a weekly Forex forecast for the 6th November 21. So I will try to be quick and uh, but there is a lot of things uh, which I want to mention so maybe it will take longer but I think there is a, a lot of valuable information. So uh, this is a dollar index and we can see on the monthly we have the reaction on the bottom of the channel and as well on this nice uh, monthly demand zone from where the price is going higher and i think we will might could reach this uh, opposing demand zone so there is a definitely uh, the upwards uh, pressure uh, on the weekly we can see some similar thing here is the previous uh, demand zone where the price reacted and it has created this new demand zone again reaction in here we went through the middle band of this channel and i think we're gonna reach this uh upper band of this channel which is around the 95 uh 95 level right so on the daily we are going higher as well we have a nice uptrend in here and uh, price has had reaction on this uh demand zone and i think we, we're gonna reach uh, this level next week right so let's look at it a little bit closely and uh, let's try to let's try to find out what the banks are doing right so let's bring the cot data which i have prepared in here right now and what we can see basically the banks are adding the longs position so let me move it uh, somewhere that uh, the candles are not annoying us right so uh, we can see that basically the banks are adding for a long time quite building right build big longs positions while they are reducing their shorts right so we can see that the net positions are nicely growing from 25 to the 34 in the recent time and of course it came for the 18 and it's going up and now i want to show you something interesting what happened in here right so let's check uh, the previous uh, data release which was the 26th 26th which which is actually on the close which is actually somewhere around uh, here the data was released right and they won't, don't want to see what they're doing. So they release this data and then immediately next day, they drop the price into the demand zone where they probably close these shorts because we can see that the shorts went from the 10K7, 10K.7 to the 10K4. And as well, they added uh, some longs positions, right? So they added some longs positions, and then they moved the price higher and then they reported uh, these positions, right? So what's going on? Uh, they probably, uh, they want to move the price higher and uh, into this uh, daily uh, supply zone and this uh, top of the channel. So what they're gonna do right now, I think that uh, is if they trying to hide this intention of this buying, that probably the price will come back uh, down into this uh, next demand zone and then the price will continue higher, right? So what we are expecting now is the pullback on the dollar index and then continuation up, right? This is very important. Please try to remember this for the whole forecast that we are looking for the pullback and continuation up on the dollar index because uh, if this is correct then we will see on the other pairs uh, that uh, this pullback uh, will most likely play out and uh, will give us some more clue about what's going on on the other pairs right so here is the dollar in the uh, sorry dollar index aussie we had this reaction on this monthly zone then on this uh, on this demand zone and the price is moving somehow sideways right we have uh, on the weekly we have this broken trend and then the price is somehow ranging i mean it's ranging on the weekly but it's a lot of it's a big moves right so what i'm thinking is gonna happen here on this weekly is probably the price will come down into this uh, to test uh this demand zone again and uh, probably this uh, this uh, long-term channel so on the daily we are we are seeing that the price is dropping lower and uh, it's coming down from I sorry I did not have highlighted the zone in here uh, and it's coming down uh, down to this level right so uh, as we remember on the on the dollar index that we are waiting for the pullback and then continuation down so what what we can see on this four hour time frame we can see that the pullback could uh, sorry I didn't want to use such a big let me clear so we could uh, expect uh, the pullback in here into this zone which has this beautiful volume 
and from here the potential short lower right so let's check the data and what we can see here is basically that the banks are if we can see these positions that they added some longs they a little bit added shorts as well right but overall minus 70k it's a quite a huge number and i think uh, uh, as the price was moving uh, this was a little bit confusing here on the here on the uh, aussie why the price has been moving uh, up uh, like this for the last uh, couple of weeks while the banks did not have any long positions right again now they're trying to uh, they're trying to fake us uh, they reported uh, some longs but uh, we can see that the next day they simply drop the price lower right so they want always to keep you uh, one step behind uh, what they are doing and I of course understand that because uh, it's about the money and uh, that's uh, why they're trying to hide it so uh, what I'm expecting in here is uh, the pullback and then the drop lower right uh, so let's go to the next chart which is going to be euro so euro has uh, this reaction on this monthly and i'm thinking we are going to test this level right so on the weekly it's going down again and it has created uh, this beautiful supply zone. so if we ever get uh, the pullback in here before the price reaches this demand zone i think that is that's gonna be the nice opportunity for the shorts again for the from the weekly but uh, we are looking for some we are not gonna wait uh, many weeks for this to happen we need to act on the lower time frames all right so uh, this is the cot data so what we can see here is basically uh, again the drop in the in the longs positions and a slight uh, drop in the shorts as well right but overall uh, it's uh, we can see that uh, the change was into the positive so we will might get that pullback uh, on the euro uh, i am bearish on the euro and i'm thinking it will reach this level or uh, even this uh, this uh, uh, demand zone in here right but uh, i would be careful not may maybe wait for the pullback to enter the market right because again where they reported this position so let me check uh, let me check where is this so we can see the report of these longs of this uh, positive data was in here right so basically in this latest period uh, they reported positive change but look what happened the next day right they immediately dropped the price lower right so yeah i will be watching this zone for the potential short on the lower time frame uh, i will be checking uh, what's going on and uh, for the potential entry and if this zone is removed which can of course happen because of the big manipulation then I will be watching this zone for the short right so we are expecting the pullback on the dollar and uh, then we are expecting the dollar to be strong however uh, dollar is not only one driver for the markets right so here the euro uh, it can make that pullback so if the euro will be strong and the pullback on the dollar uh, will be going on as well might the euro can make a bigger pullback than uh, some other pairs that's uh, what makes the markets very interesting next one is uh, pound so the pound uh, big reaction on the monthly on the weekly as well and i'm thinking we're gonna reach uh, this uh, lower zone on the weekly right so expecting the price to drop lower but the question is how is that gonna happen will the price drop just like this or will it do something in here you know that's what we're gonna find out now so on the daily mark on the daily time frame we can see that the price has created this new low after this break which has created this uh, new zone and we had the pullback and the reaction so from here the price is dropping as was uh, predicted in the previous uh, previous analysis and what i'm waiting now is to break this low right so what i'm thinking is can happen here is that we will see the break of this low then the retest of the zone and then continuation lower right so how this could look uh, on the lower time frame is uh, something like this so we can see, we would, might see the break of the low then the retest into the zone which is uh, nested in this uh, daily zone and from here the continuation down right so let me check uh, what's going on on the cot data we can see slight positive uh, numbers uh, in the last two weeks so they probably adding some longs positions 
however again right so look where the data was reported and then what happened the next days right so we can see some slight growth however uh, here was again the growth and then um, positions closed and again positions closed right so uh, these positions are actually the all data and uh, that's uh, again they are trying to confuse you and on the charts that's most likely all looking like the price will reach this demand zone that's all when we want to trade the next one is a kiwi this one is quite strong right so what we have uh, we have this reaction on this uh, on this uh, supply zone on the monthly and as well we are on this channel and it looks like that uh, it wants to break right and uh, on the weekly as well uh, we have the nice reaction on this zone and we are back in this zone so if this zone is broken we will see what's gonna be happening in here right because the cot data uh, on the kiwi looks like a really strong one now uh, that's uh, maybe the looks like more uh, sorry i have the wrong uh, cot here i need to bring the cot for the kiwi which is this one base second um okay so i cannot uh, paste it right now so let me let me open it like this uh okay so we can see it here right so we can see that basically the longs are growing and the shorts slightly so yeah quite big uh, net positions in here so yeah Mm, it does not make uh, sense for me to short it and uh, as we expect the pullback on the on the uh, dollar i thinking that the price will move higher in here right but uh, nothing too much clear for me let me bring the cot data again right so it's uh, it's like yeah it getting stronger but uh, the price section doesn't confirm anything so i will i think i will skip the kiwi for doing anything in here right now so let's move to the usd cat usd cat uh, had this reaction on this monthly zone again and i think we will reach this supply zone right so it will take some time but i think we will go higher so on the on the weekly nice reaction on the zone creating a new zone so here is the zone which might has to be removed before the price drops lower however if we expect the stronger dollar in the next weeks we will might move higher first so on the daily nice reaction on this beautiful zone which created this uptrend and now we are in this uh, supply zone from where we will most likely drop lower so lo what how looks the cot data uh, what we can see here is basically that uh, the longs has been reduced we can see how the longs has been reduced and shorts has been bringing on for the last two weeks right so as this move was moving higher into the zone they've been closing longs and they added some shorts positions so probably the price could make this pullback uh, with the with the pullback on the dollar so if the dollar pullback uh, will be going on uh, i think that we will see the usd cat to drop lower as well okay next one is the usd franc usd franc uh, is uh, it has a reaction on this monthly zone as well on the weekly zone and on the bottom of this channel moved higher and now we had reaction again on this zone however now this uh, weekly supply zone bringing the price lower and uh, on the on the daily we are in on this bottom of the channel but i think this channel will be probably broken because i don't think that you know these channels i'm using only for the reason to uh, the project potential uh, potential target right so and this target must be in confluence with the zone so uh, i i see beautiful zone in here and beautiful zone in here and i think there will be a liquidity that's where we will be going right now let's look to the cot data and then here we will see beautiful manipulation right so as said uh, the banks want you to uh, trust uh, what they report right so what we can see here is basically the growth in the longs positions right but look uh, they reported the positions the uh, somewhere around here right and since then what happened so they did the report and then the price moved higher where they they probably closed these longs right 
in this uh, supply zone and then they immediately to the price over which is not included in the in the report now so you basically we had the report we know what is in here but uh, that's probably not exactly what uh, should be there so and as we expect the pullback on the dollar i think the we will see drop uh, on the usd franc here right okay so the next one is the usd jpy and this one had uh, on the monthly again reaction in here reaction on the bottom of the channel and i think the long term we will might get reach uh, this uh, supply zone right so i'm thinking that we could go there but first maybe some pullbacks and then going higher again so on the weekly reaction on this zone creating these two new potential zones for the pullbacks so right now the price is uh, around this uh, channel and i'm thinking the price could drop lower before it continues higher so if we are looking on the on this uh, daily uh, there is a reaction on this channel and the price is now ranging so let's check the CLT data and on the CLT data we are seeing what I was talking about uh, two weeks ago so we had reached uh, quite big longs positions and uh, there is a profit taking already right so we can see that it's dropping so uh, on the four hours that it's it's offering beautiful beautiful short right so what we could need to see is the break of this zone then pull back here and the short right so that's what i'm waiting for i will be monitoring this so uh, once this is removed uh, i will be monitoring for the pullback and then for the short and this is the gold gold finally starting to be interesting for me so let's uh, break it out right so we are in this long-term channel on uh, this bottom has been uh, tested here and uh, price moved higher created new demand zone which been tested to move higher again uh, new demand zone created after the breaking the high and then it's been tested and ranging for many months and right now the price start to looks really really bullish and uh, we will see what's gonna be happening here uh, as well on the weekly we can see it on the lower time frame and uh, we can see uh, how is uh, this reacting in here right so uh, we will probably get uh, this move uh, into into this uh, into this zone right that's uh, what will most likely happen uh, if it will break uh, and continue higher I don't know uh, that's the question uh, we still have this uh, <clears throat> we can draw it like this we still have this zone so if this uh, if this trend line uh, that's a beautiful beautiful formation like this bullish bull flag right so if this if this goes up so then it's uh, most likely that we will reach uh, this high right and then even potentially uh, this uh, 200 of 4,000 2400 let's see so on the daily uh, we can see it like this we can see the break uh, through the trend line which has created this new zone retest and the price is moving higher so next target is 860 60 is potential but i think uh, here will be a lot of problems to break it so uh, maybe something like this break uh, retest to the new potential zone and then again higher uh, that's what would be looking very nice right on the four hours we can see it like this too and if we check the cot data it looks really positive for the for the gold because uh look uh we have we have the longs positions been growing we have the shorts being closed right so the total net positions from the 100 168 was the bottom uh from 168 plus 215 right so we can see the here was this uh, some it was probably the manipulation and then we can see quite big changes every week coming right so the gold looks good let's see and uh, now let's uh, move to the Bitcoin and here is the Bitcoin so it's moving in the monthly on this channel right and uh, here was uh, this beautiful uh, demand zone created after this new highs price drop down there we've been six months in this in this uh, consolidation that is breaking higher and we are moving in this uh, channel so what i'm thinking what i'm expecting to price be closing somewhere uh, on the tops of, of the cycles of the top of this channel right so if we look to the weekly and i have slightly different channel 
So if this channel I con cross connect with this one, it will give me where could be the potential target, right? So on the weaker, let me uh, again. So what we could get here, we have this uh, nice demand zone, which was created by making this uh, new high. So if the price retraces back down here, I would be expecting something like this. And here, uh, some maybe bigger crash, right? So that could be my target. So if, let me, let me show you this. Uh, I will make a sync, right? And now if we go, if we go here, uh, to this monthly and we can see how these channels are cross-connected so here would be my target right so I'm thinking some we can reach something like uh, this 220k something like that that is my target for the Bitcoin so on the lower time frame uh, let me first uh, now uh, now let me first remove uh, this because I don't want to have it here so no sync so on the lower time frame uh, is a daily. We can see this uh, new demand zone was tested and prices now uh, somehow you know ranging in here. So what could happen on the four hours before we break out up again is that the price will drop lower. We could we could retest this uh, 55k, and then from here we could go higher, right? So I'm definitely bullish on the Bitcoin. And uh, those who follow me, you know how much I own and uh, where is my target. So, okay, let's go there. Uh, next one is Ethereum. Ethereum, I'm uh, uh, very bullish on this one. Uh, so we are in this channel and I'm thinking we could be closing some upwards. But, uh, you know, not everywhere is possible to draw the channel. So I'm thinking that, uh, you know, uh, 100k on the Ethereum, that would be too much, right? So uh, this uh, lower time frame uh, channel on the on the weekly and its middle band, it's somewhere where we potentially going, right? And uh, if we look to this uh, uh, to this daily channel, so it's uh, if we again if we make uh, the sync. Uh, we will see that it would be somewhere around here, right? So I think that uh, Ethereum is most likely moving like a 10% of the Bitcoin, the price. So if the Bitcoin goes to the 200K, uh, Ethereum could be closing somewhere around here with, uh, with these uh, 20K, right? So what we have here, uh, we have again uh, some nice zones for the potential entries and then uh, moving higher. As well, there is a lot of fundamental things like uh, the supply shock and uh, the burning of the EP, uh, Ethereum's after the API uh, upgrade. So definitely there's not much of these assets uh, on the market. So so that's why they're going up, right? And this is the Solana. The, this is my third uh, uh, project which I'm holding. Uh, I've been buying that since 150, 150 sorry. And uh, yeah, I did actually the analysis on the trading view around the 40, but uh, somehow I, I don't know why I didn't buy it. I simply started to buy somewhere around here, right? And on this pullback, I have accumulated uh, like 60 Solanas currently I have, and I'm still gonna be buying. Uh, and uh, where I'm expecting uh, my target is uh, around 800K, uh, sorry, 800. <laughs> Uh, so again, uh, if I think this, uh, I'm thinking that uh, we will be reaching uh, uh, the stop of the channel and here will be somewhere around here uh, would be where I will want to close uh, my, my, my positions, right? And after that, I will be waiting for the 50% pullback and uh, I want to buy back some BTC, I will not sell everything and I want to buy back some Ethereum and so on, I will see what I will do, but hopefully it will happen, let's see my friends, so yeah, I wish you have a great trading week uh, in the next week, uh, join my Telegram channel for the, for the daily updates and uh, subscribe to my YouTube videos, bye bye!